My name is Joel Lababa. I'm the Franchise King and the author of Become a Franchise Owner, the startup guide to lowering risk, making money, and owning what you do. I remember uh, about 11 years ago, getting fired, downsized from a position in management at an automobile franchise. And uh, I remember the day vividly. Uh, I was brought into the general manager's office and told that my services were no longer needed. Uh, I was asked if I'd like to keep my company car for a week or so while I look around for another job, and I, I declined. I just, I just wanted a nice clean break. So I was kind of surprised, um, kind of shocked that it happened, uh, but kind of not. It was, just, it was just not a good situation. It was very unhealthy, and uh, quite frankly, I couldn't wait to, to get out of there. I remember carrying my little girl's car seat in one hand and my briefcase in the other hand and walking next door to McDonald's, uh, a franchise by the way, and um, uh, making a phone call or two to get a ride home. Uh, I actually ended up calling my dad. He picked me up. It was just really embarrassing. I, I felt like a loser. I felt, more than anything, I felt powerless. So uh, uh, about three months later, uh, my father, uh, after uh, some gentle coaxing, I'll call it, um, uh, convinced me to join his franchise advisory firm, which I did. And I was a franchise broker consultant for many years, helped a lot of people get into business, uh, ended up leaving the franchise I was with. Uh, it, just, it just wasn't working out, let's say. And um, uh, becoming an independent consultant and then changing my business to an advisory business. And that's what I do now. Uh, uh, the reason I wrote this book was to help you not experience what I went through uh, uh, more than once. Uh, if you'd like to own what you do, there's really one way, and that means not collecting a paycheck from someone else, but collecting a paycheck from yourself. I'm going to teach you how to do that with my book. If you'd like to become a franchise owner, and you want to learn how to do it intelligently and not emotionally, which means you're going to become a fact-gathering franchise machine, then you should read the book. Uh, buying a franchise is big, but I'll show you how to chip away at it just a little bit at a time. Now, not everyone in the franchise industry is going to be happy about what I've disclosed in this book about some practices that uh, just frankly need to go away. But I don't really care because it's not about them, it's about you. And if you want to become a franchise owner, buy my book and let's learn together. I'll teach you. I'm Joel Lababa, the Franchise King, and I'll see you on those pages.